Hello, today we're looking at problems that have to do with the acceleration due to gravity. Just a little picture of like the of the setup for measuring it. You put the ball by the little recorder thing below the above the floor plate, you drop it, and you can measure how fast it moves and find its acceleration that way. We did this and we made a graph. This is a graph of what it looks like. I just want to remind you of some of the things that are in it. Like if you look at the very top corner, that's the initial velocity at zero meters per second. It had about 4.4 meters per second speed. Or sorry, zero seconds. It had 4.4 meters per second speed. Okay, it got slower as it went, but it's still heading upward until it reaches about 4.6 seconds. Then it had a velocity of zero. That's where it's at its maximum height. Then as you go downward, or as it, the line continues downward, it's headed back toward the origin as a negative velocity. Okay, but it's speeding up. It's going away from zero. There are a lot of equations you can use to solve these kind of problems. Um, the top ones are ones that you've probably seen before. Distance equals speed times time. In this case, it's average velocity times time. That since the acceleration is constant, as we saw in our graph, the average velocity is equal to the initial plus the final divided by two. You're just averaging the two numbers since they change at a constant rate. You're allowed to do that. Um, and acceleration, I wrote it as change in velocity divided by change in time. But a lot of times we call the initial time zero, so we derive it, that little equation next to it. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. And we had the one-half at squared one that you see if you graph distance versus time for an object that's accelerating, you get a graph that look, makes that squared shape and you can derive that equation out from it. The useful constants, the acceleration is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared downward. If we're going to treat upward as positive, like we did in that last graph, we're going to treat downward as negative, which means when we use our equations, it's helpful to put a negative in those equations. You can do the work without it, but it's just an easier way. At the highest point, the velocity is going to be zero meters per second. So let's talk through a problem and see how that goes. First problem we have is that the object is thrown straight upward with a speed of 18 meters per second. How long does it take to get to the highest point? Well, one number, again, a constant, there are two constants in this problem that they don't actually say, which is that the highest point has a velocity of zero. And that the acceleration, since the only thing acting on it is gravity when you once it's let go, is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we use, you can see, A equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time. We plugged in the negative 9.8 for the acceleration, 0 for the final velocity since it's at its highest point, and 18 meters per second as initial velocity, because that's what it started with, otherwise it wouldn't go up at all, divided by time. Rearrange the equation, we got an answer of 1.83 seconds. The second one is the same problem, except it asks you to find how high above that point is it going to reach. So, so in any case, the, the first part is the same because it's the same amount of time that it took to do it, 1.83 seconds. But I include that work here just so you could see it. Um, However, if you're going to find distance, you're going to have to have the average velocity. So you have to take the final and the initial and divide by 2. You can see that we did that. The initial is 18 and the final 0 because it's the highest point. So the average is 9 meters per second. Then we take that average velocity times the time. Distance equals average velocity times time. We get a height of 16.5 meters. All the problems ask similar things. Some ask you to find speed at specific points. Some ask you to find distance. Some give you distance and you have to work backward. I hope that helps and good luck.